Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And what you're about to see is me edit all of the Keeper images from the real world review of the iPhone 7 Plus dual camera system that we did while we were in Berlin, Germany. Now, if you haven't checked out that real world review, you can click the link down below or look for the eye up on the top corner of this video and you will be able to go and check that out. So this is gonna be a pretty long video because I'm editing all of the Keeper images but you get to see everything that I did in order to bring these images to life. Don't forget you can download some of the full res exported files as well as download 10 raw DNG files that were captured with the iPhone 7. So I'm gonna spin around and miraculously or magically, I'll be in my office editing the photos. In three, two, one, here we go. All right, here we go. I've already selected down from 634 images to 170. I didn't think that you wanted to sit and watch me go through all 630 some of them. So I've gone to the 170 and I will process and edit them and you will get to watch as I do that. Now, as always, these tend to be long videos, but I think you like watching the process. If you don't like watching the process, that's fine. You can skip around. But I think there's people out there, and if you're one of those people, please leave a comment down below that says, hashtag, I like watching you edit these videos. Hashtag long ass editing videos. Something like that. But be sure to like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. My goal with the camera, the iPhone 7 Plus, which is this. This is the iPhone 7 Plus with the dual camera lens. The reason I did a real-world review of this is because people think that it is a fantastic camera or it's touted to be a, an amazing camera. And there's a lot of people that say, should people with DSLRs be scared that this phone is going to replace it? And if anybody thinks that right now, smack yourself in the face twice. Really hard, as hard as you can, because... In nobody's lifetime, can I make a statement like this? In no time soon, you will not see an, a cell phone quality be better than a DSLR in any time soon, to be honest with you, because of the size of the sensor. The sensor is this big, or like this, the size of a P. In a full-frame sensor is like that big, so you're going to get better bokeh. You're going to... I don't even need to explain it to you. Please watch the real world review. I discuss all of this in there, but unless this is the brains of the camera and it pops into the back, just like it pops into a DSLR and then takes over, then it's not gonna be the same quality. Now there is the digital zoom, uh, not the digital zoom, the digital bokeh option, which was not available when I tested this phone. Uh, I'm not anti that at all. I think that's a cool feature that if it gives people the ability to see what a picture would look like, um, with bokeh, maybe they'd be interested in upgrading to a DSLR. I shot all of these photos using this app. This is ProCam 4. Um, it allowed me to use both lenses as well as shoot DNG. And that is what I used. And I'm going to go through the pictures. Let's start editing. Oh, the reason I'm editing on the computer is because I didn't want to sit and edit on the phone. I think I can get a better representation on the computer. And yes, I understand I took a lot of photos, raw photos. It was about seven or eight gigs on the phone. Uh, I did take a lot. <laughs> I was trying to get images. Sometimes you just have to take a lot with this phone to try and get the angle or the framing because it's not always right. Like this one I got right. But let me show you something. I'm going to go back. I know I haven't even started editing. But look, I got this wrong over here in, in framing wise because I didn't realize that in the app, the ProCam app, this up top, I'm like, oh, the bar's there. So that got in the way. All I had to do was swipe it to get rid of it. And that way I could see the exact frame that I was going to capture. But this is a terrible photo because... It's not even left to right. It sucks. It shouldn't have been like that, but so be it, so be it. That's what happened. That's why I kept shooting, to try and make the corrections. But I find that editing on the computer is going to be much easier in Lightroom. Uh, Lightroom Mobile is also a good place to edit um, on your iPad or in your iPhone. That could work out well. I will also say that I, th I, I only thought of this now, and I'll have to say it in the wrap-up of my video where I talk about the images for the real-world review, is that I had my screen brightness on full. And if I'm going to shoot manual, and I'm not really sure what my brightness should be, my exposure is going to be off. And I think we'll see some of that going forward. Eh. 
And I may be quiet while I edit. The sky looked amazing this day. This was actually the pre-shoot. We uh, went and did a walk through the city of what we were going to shoot when we did the video the next day. Oy, that is strong contrast. But getting the shoot raw is what it's all about. See? You have pretty much a lot of leeway with it going on. But, yeah, we got to take it for what it is. It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone, but you can still get good results. I'm not going to say the results suck. They're not the greatest in the world, but detail-wise, it's a hell of a lot better than cell phones of yore. Speaking of cell phones of yore, what the hell was this thing? A 2.0 megapixel? This is the original iPhone, by the way. Wait, hold on. Let's show you something. <laughs> pretty pretty interesting, right? Original iPhone. I should charge it up. Half the screen works and half the screen doesn't. If that makes any sense to you, the screen died halfway. The bottom half. I can't swipe. Or maybe I could swipe, but I can't type. Something like that. Don't forget you check out the Real World Review over on the website pretty good review in Berlin Germany this is Brandenburg Gate what's the exposure at one twenty seven hundredth of a second one twenty eighth hundredth of a second oh by the way it's a fixed 1.8 aperture uh, with the two with the zoom lens let me find a zoom lens photo it's a 2.8 so you go from 1.8 to a 2.8 so you lose some light with the uh, second lens. Mm -hmm. Why are they? I don't understand why there's some corrections already made. Let's see, does the next one have corrections made already? Why are corrections already made in the images? I haven't touched them yet. I don't understand that. Why are the black levels, the white levels, and the clarity already touched? I know I didn't touch them yet. That is just extremely odd, in my opinion. I do not know the history of the Brandenburg Gate. That's a shitty photo. Get out of here. God, it just looks like my lines are wrong. I don't want to crop. I'm going to stick with what I got, but... Let me hit reset. But the sky was beautiful this day. Is this sharp? Is this is this one out of focus? Yeah, screw you. You're out of focus. Get out of here. This was the one I edited, put up in black and white and color on Instagram a while back. See, I warm it up just a little bit, and that's giving me the nice sky I want. I'm getting guitar face again. Boom. Get rid of that. Let's see how we're doing here. You can see it's slightly off kilter. My angle was off just a little bit. I'm not straightening it. I'm leaving it because I'm not cropping it. I also played around with the saturation a little bit. On I edited it on the iPad. Um, the one. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to make a duplicate here, virtual copy. And I'm going to go black and white is what I'm going to do. And we're going to go to town. It's too much. Don't forget, you can change a lot just by changing the white balance, color 
white balance? The temperature. Yeah, white balance. Boom. Black and white color. Black and white color. It's hard to sync both when the exposures are not going to be the same because I let the the camera... Oy. Goodbye, you're not in focus. <laughs> Damn it. I let the camera do most of the, the thinking for me because I had to focus on getting the image. I, I don't know why there's already corrections made. I'm going to have to ask the people at Lightroom about that. See, I like the color of the stones in this. I mean, the quality isn't bad. Yeah, you see noise and grain. I'm going to be printing out some of these photos because I got to print them out to see how the results look. We're going to print them out on the, on the, on the Pro 1000 printer. I mean, what is it? ISO 20. And then look how noisy it is there. But in the details, you don't see the noise. You really don't. In the shadow area, you see a little bit, but so be it. I mean, this is, again, it's an iPhone. It's a phone. You have to take all that into consideration. You may see a repeat of, of scenarios going forward. That, like I said, I spent, uh, we spent one day uh, scouting locations, and then we came back the next day to shoot the location. So um, I, I still like some of the images I got, so I'm going to use them both. This is the Berlin Wall. Insane, right? That That's the Berlin Wall, a piece of it. There's still some of it left. They didn't get rid of all of it. This is one where you can see the exposure was thrown off, and I don't know if I did it, but look, it's a raw file. I can bring it back. Boom. It's brought back. and the, Oh, yeah. So this is the difference, though, between a DSLR and a miniature small sensor. All of this shit in the background is sharp as can be from front to back. Even though this is at f2.8, it doesn't blur because I'm far away from the subject and everything's almost infinitely in focus. If that was out of focus in the background, it could be a better image. Now, I also think that a lot of these images are going to come to life in the post-processing. stretch this is time consuming editing is time consuming oh, tiny bubbles make me warm all over yeah makes me warm all over I don't think that sucks, eh? My singing, I mean. See, I think black and white may save some of these. The baby's like, I don't know. I don't know if this is any good. I don't know if it's any good. I'll just edit it just in case. I'm still editing and processing the same way I would process any other file, regardless of where it came from. Still doing my thing. This is the bubble guy. Keep calm make bubbles i forget his website i say it in the real world review i gave him some photos uh the next day i airdropped them to him when i was standing next to him and was like here have some photos i also gave him some money black and white color black and white color we're gonna have to do both it's just sometimes i don't know what's sharp i don't think it's maybe his face is it is. We're going to have to print some of these out. Yeah, yeah, da da. Da 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 da. Boom. Mm 
Mm -mm. That's better. I'm going to do it again because I'm having a hard time. My brightness is one, two, three down from the top, by the way, on my Mac. It seems to be a very good spot. Okay, now we're getting into the bubble shots where I laid down to get some shots. We're going to have some fun here. I hope. This exposure's weird. Though it looks cool. The reflection is nice. Black and white will not work in this scenario. So what, so what, so what, so what the scenario? What is that? How do I have dust on my sensor, people? I don't know how you get dust on your sensor. I don't want to oversaturate. I wish I could sync them. One nine-fiftieth of a second. One one-thousandth of a second. That shot's not very good. This is cool because it's me. You see me taking the picture. And is that my logo? Oh no, that's the tr that's the that was a kiddie pool. That's that's where he had uh, his bubbles. Always remember this: if kids are going to run around by the bubbles, they could fall. We did we two years ago in Germ in uh, Poland, we shot bubbles and kids were falling because they kept slipping on the bubbles. Tiny bubbles in the air make me happy, make me feel great. Tiny bubbles make me warm all over. And the feeling that I'm gonna love you till the end of time. Tiny bubbles. Don Ho, everybody. Don Ho, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the Don Ho music. Daughter's name Hoku. She had a song called Another Dumb Blonde back in the 90s, maybe 2000s. Is. Oh, where'd my info go? I accidentally hit the info button. Yeah, no, no. Plus back camera, 6.6 .6 millimeter. That's the uh, media, that's the, the telephoto lens. One nine fiftieth of a second. Oh, good, nine fiftieth of a second. I, if I could sync some of these, it would save me a hell of a lot of time. Being that I still have 170 some to do, and you're probably bored out of your freaking mind already. And I keep singing Tiny Bubbles. This song is brought to you by Hawaii. Hawaii, the home of Don Ho. Don Ho was once an amazing singer. Now he is no longer alive. That one's not very good, but why are there only two bubbles in it? I'll keep it just in case Steven wants to use it when he's doing the video. Hmm. Actually doesn't look half bad. Could black and white work? Could black and white bubbles work, people? I don't know. I just like when you warm it up just a little bit. Have it through, wiggle it just a little bit. Yeah. Oh. I'm happy I got to, to edit these and without having to wait too long cuz sometimes Lightroom makes you wait. I like this, the way that there's one up top, one at the bottom, one right in the middle. 950th Boom. Boom. Shakalaka. I, I, I'm 
Hooked on a feeling, high on a reeling, and I'm in love with grain. Again, the sensor is this freaking big, people. Oh, I still love this shot. Yeah. This time the stick is in there. Hi, 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 hi. Sorry, I'm not really sorry. This is what I do when I'm editing. Well, when I'm editing, I'm usually listening to music. We haven't even gotten into the first day of shooting here. We're doing all my test day of shooting. I couldn't tell if I liked this or I didn't like this, to be honest with you. As you can see, I spent a lot of time shooting bubbles. Tiny bubbles. You know, that reminds me of a song by a guy named Don Ho. And it goes a little something like... Tiny bubbles in the air make me happy, make me feel tiny bubbles make me warm all over, and I'm feeling like the derm and derm until the day of time. Do do shooby wa. I'm sure you people hate my singing, but I'll continue to do it. So there's not lots of controls over focus, of course. You could touch where you want it, but when you're trying to get the bubbles, I was relying on the camera to be pretty good. This shot's pretty cool, actually. Let's give it a Sinky McSinkerson across the board, because the exposure should be about the same on all of those. They just look super underexposed the way that they're done here. Like, it's weird. There's not a lot of contrast, so I have to play with it three bubbles in the sky yeah 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 now we're on to the second day of shooting different day it was brighter this that this was the day there was a marathon going on except instead of running they were on their rollerblades Wow, the tones are different this day. The lighting was totally different this day. I mean, the camera did a pretty damn good job with focus. I mean, if you can't really miss focus that much because it's basically infinite focus. Infinite sorrow. I like the fact that I can sync them because then I don't have to sit here and really tweak too much. Ah, oh, shit, Jared, why don't you do some black and white here? Jared, do black and white in the sky. Yada, makes me happy, makes me want to cry. That is over contrasty in the sky. Yeah, get rid of my highlights. I still think a lot of this comes to life in the post-processing. It was just a candid moment. I mean, yeah, focus is fine. Just too much contrast is really takes away from the image. This was early morning. And by early, I mean 9 a.m. We got there pretty early to start. Feels like the horses are about to attack me, me, me. Dee, 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 dee. Somebody's gonna have tiny bubbles in their head. This photo sucks cause this woman couldn't jump. She was the worst jumper in the history of jumping. Got an inch and a half off the ground. But I guess part of the image is uh, capturing the moment. One fourth, 
one fourteenth hundredth of a second. Anyway, it froze her in air, so that's good. Uh, we're from Brazil. Brazil. Hello. Way too much contrast. Actually, it's too much yellow. Still too much yellow. Straight out of the camera doesn't look bad, to be honest. It's pretty damn close. Still like having the raw file. Ugh. Sort of straight. Hard to tell. It's hard to tell. And I'll tell you another thing that's really hard to shoot with is that this isn't lined up in the middle, of course. So that makes it a little more difficult when you're trying to shoot. Hey now, hit him with the hind. Hashtag, hit him with the hind. Too yellow in the sky. I'm getting tired of this. What are they holding? It must be copper if it's that green. That's the Reichstag. Reichstag. I was like, I'm going to steal this shot. And that's what I did. The shot presented itself, and I stole it. Do, 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 do. Perry Farrell, been caught stealing. Hmm. I like the black and white. The color is pretty interesting, too. It's like, what are you looking at, hairy guy? I like that shot. Ooh. And the ooh was for how bad that exposure was. Oh, God, I'm complaining about exposure. I'm like, wait a second. I didn't actually have much control over my exposure. That looks good. I have to print one of these bad boys. Pretty even, pretty straight. Yeah, lots of detail in this bad boy. Let me make this one red. I think I want to print this one. Ah, oh, Scheiser Manelli. I mean, I'm going to print it, but just some stuff over there. Maybe the build. Look at all the ornate nature of this place. Let's see the lines. They look pretty good to me. Look, eh, they're close. Close is enough. Not sharp. Well, missed expo. Well, focus. Watch this. We'll we'll tweak it a little bit. I don't know why the exposure. Why why there's corrections made already. This is using the 1.8, so that's the wide angle lens.
I don't know what his shirt says. Still pretty cool that you kind of forget it came from a phone sometimes. It's not blowing me away. There's nothing extraordinary about these images. But I bet you when I finish it up and get down to the last couple, um, they'll be good. This is me straddling East and West Berlin. Not sure which is which, to be honest with you. Those are my Echo Boots. Echo Boots. These are the Track Echo Boots. I've worn these around the world. Israel, Germany, Poland, Mexico, uh, you name it, all across the United States. I've worn the shoes. I've worn them everywhere, these boots. I just actually bought a backup pair because these are getting worn pretty good. This one you can rotate because you can see where the camera was. So I want to see. You can do it any which way. Should it be top or the bottom? We'll go with the top because who doesn't like being the top? Just people crossing the street. Oh, she's waving at me. She's like, hi. And then everybody, this kid's like, hey, what's up? I don't know. I saw people. So I figured I would take a picture. Because they're crossing the Berlin Wall border. Yeah, black and white. What up, black and white? Um, composition, let's talk about that real quick. I wish the composition started more in this area. Um, it's a little too, They're a little too high up. If I started and cut the frame here, I think it would have been a little better. That's just me talking about my composition. This is a thick one. Boom. Segways, talk about the segways in the video. So, segway tour is the way to go. I would take one if I didn't have to wear a helmet. And that's why I haven't taken one because I'm not wearing a helmet. It's a segway. If I fall off the segway, I deserve it. Been on segways before, they're fun. Manhole. You're a manhole. You're a manhole. How come a-hole is bad, but manhole is okay? And what makes it a manhole? Why isn't it a woman hole? Why isn't it just a hole? Why must it be something it's not? It doesn't look like a manhole to me. Does it look like a man? Hashtag manhole. Does it look like a manhole to you? We figure we try to get some detailed shots, too. Then I saw these bikes. I'm like, I'm going to take some pictures of bikes. You could rent a bike. Mm -hmm. Either one is good. I'll go with the color on this one. I'm going to sync them all because they should be pretty similar, and I will tweak from there. I just thought the bikes could be cool. I don't hate it. See? See? I'm working my composition. I'm low. Yep. I see what I'm doing here. Got to go with that. 
Gotta go to Mo's Models. Gotta go to Model Sports. Gotta go to Mo Models. Just playing around with focusing on something and seeing what happens in the out of focus area. Just as I was taking this, the two girls whose bikes they were came back. I'm like, I'm taking pictures of your bikes. They're like, shut up, you American. They didn't actually say that. They're like, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, hee, hee, hee. Then this girl came walking by, and I'm like, I don't know if I should take this picture, but I'm going to steal her shot because she sat down, and the parents didn't say anything wrong. I'm like, I'm going to do this. There we go. Get rid of the yellow. Never understood why anybody called it yellow. It's yellow. Boom. Nailed it. Just kidding. That looks about good, right? It's as sharp as sharp is going to get, I guess. I guess it's pretty good. That's out of focus, but that's the point. These are just the shots for Steven to use on something. I'm not even going to waste my time too much on these because we know that they're not really good. This was just changing focus points. And by focus points meant where I touched on the screen. I don't even want to. Oh, that's Steven in it, but whatever. This is the Holocaust Memorial. This is going to be interesting because I can really play with the shadows here. See, I need to s keep the shadows. So I wasn't supposed to stand on the stones, but I, I, I had to get a shot. This There was actually a guy there telling people not to. Nice. I mean, I have a nice amount of latitude here with these files. Again, if I got an awesome shot... It's going to be an awesome shot no matter what. This was actually the guy, the security guy, who's telling people not to be on the stones, which he's right. But I still wanted to get the shot, and I figured if he wasn't paying attention at the time, I would get the shot. Big thank you to Jessica Blunk, uh, Bunk, 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 Jesse Bunk. She helped us. She took us around. Bunk, Bunk. I was just waiting to steal people's images. I say steal people's images. The reason I say steal somebody's image is because that's what I was... I was it just means shooting a, fi a picture just to capture the moment. I actually like it better in the shadow, except I hate the fact that all that stuff comes into play in the background. Yeah, It's meant to be a little darker. <laughs> And black and white. You think there's lens correction? Let's go take a look, by the way. I always forget. Can somebody explain to me why D. Hayes is all the way down here at the bottom of the frame can, in, in Lightroom and I can't move it? Can somebody please explain to me that one? I'm going to go with these individual spotlights down here. Enable lens correction. <gasps> it's there! Oh my god, they got lens correction. This is getting a six, by the way. I like it. Usually don't have the attention span to do this. I want to go get tea. But my reward for finishing editing this video is going to be to go get tea. We are 38 minutes in. Typical, right? Let's see, is this in focus? Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I saw this girl in here. She was taking these photos where she had a camera around her neck. 
I'm not even sure what lens that is. I don't know if that's the 24 to 105 or not. Actually, the color is pretty good in this. Get rid of the yellow. I'm getting rid of that shot. So this is the one where my exposure it is... Fo nope. So this, yeah, right, 1 50th of a second at ISO 250. It thought it was going to be a great shot, but there's motion blur. I'm going to edit it anyway for Steven for the video. I wish it was dual pixel. No, dual pixel raw wouldn't have saved it either. It, yeah, yeah, it's just motion blur. It's motion blur because the shutter speed was too slow. If I was paying attention, I could have then changed my shutter speed. Wow, look at the artifact showing up down there. I don't know, do we like the color? Well, not that. This was a, I guess, a museum underneath. Why don't we, why don't we really go with that? So I'm just showing the highlights, really. Bringing out the highlights more than anything. color it's very subtle so this is a stairway going down underneath all of the the blocks and it's a uh, holocaust museum actually Woo! no wow e interesting e for interesting e for evil corp I need to finish season one still. Uh, I'm talking about Mr. Robot, for those of you who don't know. I can't decide. I got to go with the color. Yeah, get out of here. Berlin Wall. Looks good. The only thing that would change the exposure is if I switch lenses, mostly. That's one eight. That's one eight. All right, and that's two point eight. Just some details in the in the in the not sharpness. Oi. Ah, this is for the rebar. Whatever. <laughs> I'm getting lazy here. I should maybe take a break. But I'm actually almost done, so. I will keep going. If you guys are still here. Hmm. So this is a JPEG. I'm not going to edit any further. It's uh, a panoramic. Pretty cool, though. Unbelievable, just that you can do... Holy shit, this is a huge panoramic that actually looks pretty good that I would print out. But I cut off the... Well, this person was walking. 
damn it, I got half a body. That person's thin. But then I redid it, and I shot up a little higher. Oh, wow, look. Oh, there's balloons and all of it. Wow. Man, you got to love panoramics. They're taking a selfie. Oh, this girl got chopped off in half just a little bit. Her hand's missing. This person's cool in there taking a picture. I mean, it's still cool, right? Guess what time it is, guys? In three, two, one. Tiny bubbles make me warm all over. And the feeling that it's all going to be till the end of time. Tiny bubbles make me warm all over. Yicky, licky, 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 your hidey ho. That's crazy. Cool. It's actually in focus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watch. That red's distracting in the background, but the one thing that's going to keep me focused on the girl is black and white. Funny thing is, I don't even look over there until I'm... I need to... Man, I need to get out those palette things. I still haven't used them. I'm lazy like that. That's good. I mean, that's pretty good. Obviously, it's a little distracting with the background. But that's a pretty good shot. That's no good. I don't know that I like that either. Are there bubbles? See, there's no... Bu oh, there are a few bubbles in this. I'm getting rid of it. Nope, not in focus. not in focus but I'm gonna use it I'm not gonna use that one there we go get some of those shadows in there They got ultra bright, so. Somebody likes bubbles. Not a good shot, though. It's. I mean, she's sharp, but. <gasps> Guys, guess what time it is? One two thousandth of a second. One sixteen hundredth of a second. Let's see if we can sync this to get a starting point. Awesome. Yes. Damn, look at the color on this. It's so vintagey. It almost looks like a Visco edit. Tiny bubbles make me warm all over. And, oh, yes. 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 Just say yes. <gasps> oh, no. Is this like a sperm bubble? It, I hope it's okay. <laughs> this I can't wait. These are these these two are going to be my favorite uh, favorites. I know. I mean, they're a little over the top right now. 
It's actually just getting rid of the yellow makes it even better. A little much on the saturation. But I can't wait to print it. It's a bubble inside a bubble. I usually make everything just a little brighter before printing. Because you got to remember that the screen is backlit, but the print isn't. This has me in it. Boom. All right, I'm going to go back to this to edit this. <gasps> Guess what kind of bubbles these are? Could they be tiny? Tiny bubbles make me warm all over. And the feeling that it's all going to be a boring day. Tiny black and white bubbles. In the sky, make me happy. Oh, God, look how that looks. Look at just look at how these bubbles look. This was with the wider lens. And we got the bubble guy. Todd bought a bubble wand. I wonder if Morgan liked it. These people were like, don't take our photo. I'm like, you're in a public square asking people for money. I just gave you a couple of pound uh, euros. Now, that doesn't make it all right, but if you're going to be in a public... Look, if you're going to be in a public place asking people for money because you're playing music, and then you're going to say, no, don't take our picture... Don't stand in public. I It's public. So I took their picture. That doesn't make me an asshole. She actually didn't care. It was the guy who cared more. I don't know if they were from Poland. They were from Poland, but I don't know if he didn't understand me or when we said, I don't know. I did it anyway. And then I moved on. I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I'm not going to sit here and explain myself. And then bubble guy. The only problem here was the bu the bubbles were were uh, flying back towards him. Oh, by the way, I'll I'll let you download some raw files. Why not, Jared? Let the people have raw files. Hmm. He's the bubble guy in the guy. Then I got a portrait of him because it's not really easy to get portraits of people out on the street. Oh, God, that's so contrasty. That's more of how it was. It actually looks pretty good for a portrait. Man, I wish I had the ability to take more portraits with this because they actually don't look half bad when you fill the frame. It's just, you'll notice in the photo shoot that it's not that easy to get people's portraits unless you're physically like, I'm going to light this and I'm going to get awesome shots. If I did it in the studio with Peter Hurley lighting, I bet you we would get pretty awesome shots. Some of this stuff is upside down. Anything else upside down? I'll just make this correction. Oops. Oh, 
I'll correct whatever else needs to be corrected. Then there was a cupcake place. I'm like, I'm going to get pictures of cupcakes. It's called Just a Little Bite. That color is nice. I like that hue better. This is a little testy stuff just to show you the background. That tea sucked, by the way. It was super sweet without sugar. Some lavender tasting stuff. Turned my tea pink. I was none too happy. None too happy with that tea. Oh, and each cupcake was like two euros. What a freaking ripoff. Because you're going to see in a second why it was a ripoff. You'll see. That's why. They're miniature cupcakes. See, these are all right, but it could have just been anywhere. I'm a big fan of, of showing scenes. And this way, I'm starting to show a little bit more of the scene. When you fill the frame, it actually looks really nice, by the way. A lot of the filling the frame happens with the, the zoom lens. I'll warm this up. You don't, you'll wait and see. That was way too much. There's more cream on the cupcake than cupcake. That's terrible. Too yellow. Fifty six minutes in. Let's see. I put this in here so we could we could bring it back. Not bad, right? Oh god, there's a noise. Hmm, whatever. That's more the color. Not bad, not bad. This was the uh cupcake case. I'm going to pump that up a little bit. I'm getting lazy. I did this because there was an out-of-focus girl. I don't think that one's sharp. God, that's so bright. We got to come down with that. Is there a quick key for rotation? Because I don't know it. 
I'm not sure if she was too happy. Something tells me she didn't like what we were doing. I did ask, though. I was like, can we take pictures? She's like, okay, take pictures. I was like, all right, we'll take pictures. There's some flowers. I think if you showed these photos to somebody, and this is just um, another panoramic, it's like you kind of wouldn't know that it was a cell phone maybe. So let's go through and pick some keepers here. We'll make them red. I like that. I like that. Oh, yeah. We'll do the black and white also. These are not keepers. I may go back and tweak some later. Oh, that's cool with all the bubbles. Do you know what these things are, guys? I may have to do some tweaking. I like that because the bubbles are coming out. Weird, they have a little bit of a gray tinge to them that I need to work on. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that the people pictures are a little more difficult to get. But there's some good shots in here. I like that one. You're a manhole. No, you're a manhole. I like that one. I wish it would stay blurry in the background, but it didn't. I love these two. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, do all that stuff. Leave comments. If you like watching these videos, don't forget to check out the 5-Minute Portrait up on the website. Um, please hit subscribe. Another hour-long video of me editing 100 and 159 photos this time. Well, not fully, but 150-some because I didn't edit this one. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked the photos. I think there's some really good keepers. I, I, how many did I do this for? Well, 68. I could narrow this down even further to the best of the best, like these two, this one. Can I make multiple colors? Let me hit undo for that. Yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Hope you enjoyed the show. Jared Poland. Frono's photo. Okay, let me do that right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the editing. Jared Polin, Fronosphoto.com. See ya.